Hey guys, welcome back to Grand Central Watch. Uh, first off, our thoughts and prayers go out to anybody who's suffering during COVID-19. I know it's tough times out there, but you know, hopefully together we're gonna get through this. Um, we're gonna try to bring something cool to you right now. I'm doing a project uh, for a good friend of mine, Eric Wind. Uh, he reached out to me. He's got this Abercrombie and Fitch Seafarer that was made by Hoyer. Um, this is a very rare one, an early example, only 20 known of this reference. We're gonna take a closer look inside. Wow, that is a reference 346, which is the earliest and only reference to feature the Valjoux 71. Now, as we can see here, the title disc is damaged and somebody replaced it with, I'm not sure what, but we're gonna have to dig in to our parts. Well, she's been out there. She's got a few battle scars, but you can see unpolished. Give a little side shot here. May have to replace that crown. Probably can save the pushers, but let's open up the hood, see what's underneath. Steve, look yep. at this. You know the title? Yep. Disc you were talking about? So somebody's taking this, putting that in the back, and then they just super glued the whole thing. It's super glued? Yep. This is a crystal retaining ring that is not supposed to be in there. But sometimes this is what happens to watches when they're 80 years old, you know? A lot of hands in there, and sometimes you just gotta get it done and out the door. Then it comes to us and we fix it right. The problem that we're running into now is that we're trying to take the dial off and the posts that hold the dial on go through into the movement and then they lock down with a screw. This post is through and then it's bent so that now when we're trying to pull out the dial, it's locked itself in there. So So that's where they that's super the glued plate it. that they super glued on the end. What is that? I don't know. It's something. It does say Swiss on it, but it's obviously not from this uh, watch. From an old dial, probably. From an old dial or from some old packaging. this is packaging. glue here. Epoxy. So this, yeah, this was here. We had to two part epoxy they put there, so that got to be clean. So another thing we actually were able to remove yeah. and got very lucky. You never know. installed the chronograph functions with the column wheel so we can show you how the column wheel functions you can see it moves the clutch in and out and that's what engages and disengages the chronograph so having the original disc in place looks a lot better than that black thing glued in huh yeah definitely so tell and me quickly what we did here uh, we had to adjust the dial feet and then we had to clean out the hole for the disc here so that it can function properly. We're 
always up for a challenge. Um, Eric's watch definitely was. We had to find the original tie disc. We had to find a crown, an original hand, a lot of movement parts to get that caliber uh, 71 back up to speed. We did everything, came out beautiful. It's running like a new watch again. Um, we're excited to fix your watch. If you have something at home, family heirloom, something that you just love, please send it in. We'll give you an estimate. We can get the job done. Uh, feel free to go to centralwatch.com, print out a repair form, and uh, we look forward to sharing our next project with you. Thanks for watching.